Hi guys, today I'm going to be recreating one of my hair looks from my Instagram. I posted a picture of me with like hair devil horns and some people were like, oh my god, how did you do that? Please do a tutorial. I was like, okay, I will make a tutorial. So yeah, let's do that. First, you're going to need a headband or an Alice band. So this is my Alice band. <laughs> this won't come off. Um, Ideally, you're gonna need a thinner Alice band, simply because you won't see it in your hair. This is the only Alice band I have, so this is the one I'm using. But yeah, if you've got a thinner Alice band than this, then that's good. You're also gonna need some wire. I just, you know, had some wire lying around because I'm really crafty like that, I guess. I don't know. I basically just wrapped it around here and then made this bit into a horn shape. And then this one as well has fallen off, so let's put that back on. So yeah, there we go, we have two horns on an atlas band. You don't have to curl your hair, but I like having curly hair, so I've curled my hair. I put a bit of mousse in it so that it's a little bit like... Uh, it's got like that staying power. Yes, I've got a brush and a comb with a stick on the end. I mean, you don't need a stick on the end of your brush, but... That's what I've got. I've also got loads of bobby pins, which probably won't be enough. Never enough bobby pins. And then I've also got two hair bubbles. So yeah, once you've got all that stuff, let's begin. Right, so this is the top of my head. Gonna give my hair a bit of a brush and then put on the Alice band and kind of separate part of my hair that's gonna go in front and the bit that's gonna go behind on each side. And then I'm gonna give it a brush for again. Um, and then I'm going to take some sections and put them through the, well, one over the top of the horn, one through the wire of the horn and one underneath. Um, just make sure those are all in place properly and then I'm going to put it all together in a big ponytail. Right behind where the horn is. Well, I say right behind, that doesn't look where it's right behind. Come on, Kayla. Ah. Anyway gonna repeat that on the other side. I'm also keeping a little bit of hair at the front of my face because I like to have something to frame my face but I mean you don't have to do that if you don't want to have hair dangling at the front of your face. You can put it all in the ponytails if you want. It's up to you. I'm putting up the second ponytail making sure it's as close to the uh, horn as possible. See this is why I have wire horns so that I can put the hair through the centre to cover the Alice band. Obviously you can still see the Alice band on top, but I mean, kind of unavoidable. <laughs> then I'm going to take a small piece of hair and wrap it around the horn. Uh, this will probably take a few attempts. My hair is ridiculously slippy. Um, I don't know if yours is the same as mine, but oh my god, this is just very frustrating really. It takes a lot of Patience, see, there I am getting annoyed at it. Uh, yep, yeah, spray on some hairspray to just give it a little extra hold. Come on. <laughs> as I was doing this, I was like, ah, I'm not going to be able to do it the same as I did last time. <laughs> and then I'm putting a bobby pin in the top just to make sure it stays in place. I'm going to try and do the top of the horn. This bit is really tricky and I would recommend getting lots of sticky hairspray just so, and a bobby pin, just so that it will kind of stay in place and maybe you might have to redo it about 10 or 20 times but I mean that's fine, whatever. Um, the bits of hair at the end I am then popping into place at the base of the horn with some more bobby pins just to make sure that everything stays in place and doesn't come out. And then I'm moving on to the second horn and I'm doing pretty much the same thing again. Separating small bits of hair and wrapping them around the horn and messing it up and spraying on some hairspray because my hair is way too slippery for this, but it's fine. We get there in the end. Secure that piece in place with a bobby pin then spray a little bit more hairspray. Mm. 
what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I, I'm not this one now. Great. Well done. A star, you're doing fabulous, Kayla. Now I'm getting annoyed at everything and, and regretting my life choices. <laughs> Basically, it's a lot of trial and error. Oh, that is one fat horn. Oh, God. <laughs> then put another bobby pin in to keep it in place. And spray on some more hairspray. Because that's really the key, let's be honest. Right. Yeah. And then they're pretty much done. Woohoo! Okay, so that is how you do it. I feel like they turned out a little bit fatter than last time, um, which wasn't intentional, but I just I just knew that I wasn't going to be able to do it as perfect the second time round. It's always the case. Maybe put a little bit of hairspray in these. If you wanted to make really big horns, you could just do bigger wire things and just use all of your hair. That could work as well. The possibilities are endless. That is how I made these amazing horns. And now I'm gonna just gonna be like, I'm the devil, I can do what I want. I really, really hope that you enjoyed this video and that it was informative. Um, maybe you'll do devil horns for Halloween. <laughs> anyway, uh, yes, I'm gonna go now. Bye! I can't wait to take back to hell. I'm gonna fill in my heart in jail.